of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. O Heavenly King, the Comforter of the Spirit of Truth, who are in all places and fill all things, treasure of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell within us and cleanse us from every blemish, and save our souls, O Blessed One, Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us, Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us, Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever, Amen. O Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, come to our sins, O Master, forgive our transgressions, O Holy One, come to us in your infirmities for your name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For in thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Come, blessed Lord God, our King. Come, blessed Lord Christ, our King, our God. Come, blessed Lord God, then to Christ Himself. Our King and our God, O Lord, give heed to my righteousness, attend to my supplication, consider my prayer, which does not come from dishonest lips, and my judgment is directly from your attention. Let my eyes behold uprightness, yet prove my heart to have this in the night, yet try me with fire and come on righteousness in me, nor that my mouth might not speak about the accomplishments of humankind. I have struggled on hard paths, for the sake of the words of your lips. Set my footsteps in your paths, that my steps may not falter. I have cried right out to you because you have heard me. O oh God, listen in my favor and hear my words. Let your mercies be made wonderful, O Lord, who save those who hope in you. Who those who have resisted your strength, keep me, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, and the shelter of your wings protect me. From the pretense of the ungodly, who have oppressed me. My enemies have surrounded my soul. They have enclosed themselves with their own fact. Their mouths have voiced their arrogance. They who have cast my head now circled me. They have set their eyes to look askance upon the earth. They have taken me as my wine, ready for its prey. And as my wine, world that works in my name. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from ungodly men, your sword from your enemies. O Lord, from your chosen ones, separate them from the earth during their life. Indeed, they have filled themselves with your hidden treasures. They have satisfied themselves with swine, and have left the remnants to their children. But as for me, I shall appear in righteousness before you. I shall be filled when your glory is made manifest to me. To you, O Lord, I have lifted up my soul. O my God, in you I have trusted. Let me never be ashamed, nor let my enemies ridicule me. Indeed, let none who wait upon you be ashamed. Let them be ashamed for loss without cause. Make your ways known to me, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. I have waited upon you all day long. Remember your compassion to the Lord and your mercies, for they are everlasting. Disregard the sins and ignorance of my youth. Remember me according to your mercy, O Lord, for the sake of your goodness. 
could not break this little word, therefore he will settle off for those who sin in the way, he will guide the meek in judgment, he will teach the meek his ways, the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth, for those seeking to fulfill his covenant, and the confirmation of his love, for the sake of your name, O Lord, be gracious to my sin, for it is great, who is the man who fears the Lord, he will set him law in the way which he has chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his offspring shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him, and his covenant shall be evident to them. My eyes are towards the Lord, for it is he who will draw my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am one who is only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied, deliver me from want. Behold my lowliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are multiplied, and they have hated me unjustly. Preserve my soul and rescue me, and let me not be ashamed for hoping in you. The innocent and the upright have clung to me, because I waited on you, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassions, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge my iniquity, and my sin is continually before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done this evil before you, that you might be justified in your words, and prevail when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, you have loved truth, the hidden and secret things of your wisdom, you have made clear to me. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. You shall wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. You shall make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones which have an humble shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my sin, and blot out all my iniquities. Create a clean heart in me, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and with your governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltless, O God, for I God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you show up with my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if you had desired sacrifice, I would have given it. With cold burnt offerings, you shall not be pleased. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled. God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to sign on. Let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then she be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation, and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer calves upon your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We have faithful proclaim and worship the Word, eternal with the Father and the Spirit. He was born of the Virgin for our salvation. He willingly ascended the cross in the flesh and suffered death. He raised the dead by His glorious resurrection. Now and ever,
Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us of our sins. O Master, forgive our transgressions. O Holy One, come to us in your infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
Jesus, they found the man who had the demon, whom, from whom the demons had departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. They also who had seen and told them by what means he who had been demon possessed was healed. And the whole multitude of the surrounding region of the Gerasenes asked him to depart from them, for they were seized with great fear, and he got into a boat and returned. Now the man from whom the demons had been de who had departed begged him that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your house and tell what good things God has done for you. And he went his way and proclaimed to the whole city what great things Jesus had done for him. Part of that group of people. 
They did not know God. So our Lord said, no, you stay here and tell of all the great things that God has done for you. Spread the word here. And if we look around this, we can see, once again, as we've said innumerable times, that if we look at the world around us, it's a world that sometimes we, we need to wonder, does the world around us know who God is? Sometimes we think that they, they for, the world has forgotten God. Otherwise, sometimes we have to wonder, do, do they even know who God is, that he has been so much forgotten that they don't even, that they don't even realize his presence? And that is where we come in. To come in and tell of the great things that God has done for us. And many times it's like dropping a pebble into the water and the circles just start going further and further out. We start sometimes within our, within our own circle, within our own family, our own friends, or, or those who are closest to us. And let the word go out from there of the great things that God has done for us. And we all have them. They, are, they vary sometimes from person to person, but in general, those of us who, who are blessed with those of us who are blessed with our health, those of us who are blessed with our faith, those of us who are blessed with sometimes even, sometimes we can even count some of the material things that we have as, as blessings if we do good with them, if we don't, if we don't keep them to ourselves, and if we, and again, if we do good with them, if we're able to, if we're able to share those as well, then those are the good things that God has done for us. So as we get ready to approach Thanksgiving Day, about a week and a half, and as we get things ready, and as we probably, those of us, getting either our homes ready or getting ready to travel or, or whatever we are going to do, as we are getting ready, think of all the great things that God has done for you. Think of all those things and be willing to share those things and tell of those things, especially to those who are around you who need to hear it, who need to be brought back to Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Let us all say, with our whole soul, with our mind, let us say,
let your peace descend on the whole land, so that the shedding of blood and warfare, violence, terrors, and tyranny, and all manner of strife may come to a swift end. Enlighten all civil authority around the world with wisdom to diligently work for reconciliation. O Lord of hosts, we have no other help with you in time of distress. Quickly hear us now and have mercy.
recorded in those holy orders of the church, the builders and benefactors of this holy temple. May the Lord God remember his name in the honorable government of this nation and its armed forces everywhere. May the Lord God remember his kingdom, the Savior of our parish laws, and our family, and our friends, and those who we've been asked to pray for more day than we may be. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom those who are persecuted for the sake of the Holy Word of God's faith throughout the entire world. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom those who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and the return of the Lord.
German and Seraphim, six wing many eyed, who soar along on their wings and who sing, cry out and proclaim the triumphant king, sing.
all your iniquities and shall cleanse you of all your sins. Uh, monthly 
you soup sale, so get some soup to go home for dinner tonight. Uh, it's a good soup day, it's nice and chilly out there, perfect day for it. And also as well, uh, at around 11.30 or so, our Bear County, a uh, little bit of Easter or wine news uh, interspersed throughout the uh, throughout all the announcements. First of all, uh, we have one of the lots of love calendars remaining. Uh, so, every, so everyone who didn't get one yet uh, can mom George downstairs and see who gets it first. Uh, so, uh, but we do have we do have one remaining. So please see George downstairs uh, during the uh, during the coffee session. Uh, preparations are being made for the 2023 edition of the Mayor's Directory. Um, if you have any additions, deletions, or corrections from the last year's directory, please see that, please contact Debbie Myers or see her during the coffee social. Um, that deadline is the deadline for those is next Sunday, the 20th of November. Uh, this is the final call for anyone who wishes to be a part of the diocesan, uh, the distinguished diocesan donors, the support of the different apostolates of the diocese. Uh, for the year 2022. Um, if you wish to donate for, through the parish, please make sure your donation is in by no later than next Sunday. Um, or if not, please mail it directly to the Chancery again so they get it by, uh, so they get it before Thanksgiving. So uh, please, if you, because uh, I know some like to do it one way, some like to do it the other way. So uh, either way, uh, again, uh, thank you for your continued support of the Distinguished Diocesan Donors. And again, uh, either through the mail or directly through the parish, so we uh, get that in by next weekend. Uh, next weekend, next Saturday, the 19th of November, is our uh, fall cleaning day. Uh, we've got a little bit of work to do outside of the weather cooperates, got some work to do outside as well, uh, or inside and outside. Um, that uh, please come and join us uh, for that day. We. Uh, as the phrase goes, the, the more hands we have, the easier the load of the work. Um, also, as well, please make sure if you are coming, uh, put your name on the sign-up list downstairs on the bulletin board, so this way we know how to prepare for uh, for lunch and for uh, for breakfast that uh, that day. Don't forget, uh, Christmas candy orders are open until the 15th of December. All the details of that are in the bulletin, and. Um, on the uh, freezer downstairs, uh, we have the inventory sheet for our cookie sale, the ACR cookie sale. Uh, if you're bringing cookies in, please make sure that you uh, put your name on the list and what cookies you have. Um, along with the freezers, we also have our uh, the bake orders are ready to go home. So uh, please see Debbie Myers to pick up your uh, pick up your bake order. We need to clear out the freezer so that we can begin loading them with cookies. So um, again, uh, please let us get those in as soon as possible. We are only, uh, yesterday was four, uh, four weeks until the, four Saturdays until the, until the cookie sale. So it is coming up rather quickly. Um, just a couple more things from ACRI, two more things from ACRI. Um, one, uh, patrons, memorials, and boosters are being collected for the uh, ACRI annual. Uh, again, for that, please see George Dehulich during coffee social. And uh, the junior ACRY uh, membership, uh, senior ACRY is having their annual membership drive. So if you're not a member part of the ACRY and wish to do so, please see any member of the ACRY. And the junior ACRY membership drive is also underway. Uh, our junior group has been uh, inactive, to say the least, since uh, COVID has hit. Uh, but now that we're getting back to normal, it's time for us to get reorganized. Uh, we need to once again elect new officers. A number of our officers have graduated up to the seniors. Uh, and next week is the annual Junior Race Year of my, uh, Big Sale. So we need to have uh, we need to have the collaboration of all of our junior parents. Uh, and that emails were sent out. Uh, again, the Junior Race Year of is open to all of the youth of our parish age 8 to 18. So uh, let's try to get all those uh, folks together next Sunday uh, during the bake sale uh, so that we can have a brief meeting, possibly elect new officers, and uh, maybe even start making plans for, uh, even if not next Sunday, but, but in the very near future, start making plans for, for the coming year for service projects and the like. So we need to get our junior ACRY back activated again 
So, uh, so please let us try to get that done uh, next Sunday. Tell all the good things that God has done for you. It's something that we can do each and every single day. We don't have to be bold about it. We don't have to be, we could be subtle about it. Sometimes that's the best way to go. God has blessed me in this way or that way. Or thank God for this or thank God for that. Whatever you may be, whatever you may be conversing about. But make sure that you bring the God into the conversation so that the person that you, who you are speaking with knows that you are speaking with God. It's something that we all can do. It's something that we all can do, not only for our own salvation, remembrance of the blessings that God has given us, but also for the salvation of those who are around us, reminding them as well of the glory and the blessings of our, of our Almighty God. Have a blessed week. May the blessing of the Lord for His grace and His love for mankind be upon you, now and ever and forever.